Bye. Hello. Ooh, try that again. Hi. Hi. Go. <laughs> right. Hey. Hi. So tonight is our last night in Bali. We've been here almost a full month. It's been like 27 days. We got married here. We've seen a good chunk of the sites that we wanted to see. And we're about to head out for a really special date night that Mike has planned for us. The restaurant is called Shelter. It's a genuine Indonesian cuisine that's elevated. That's really much as much as I know about it. So it's supposed to be really, really good. Saw a lot of reviews online, a lot of recommendations for it. So what better way to end the time in Bali and our, our journey here than going to an authentic, fancy Indonesian feast. And dressed up in our fanciest clothes. Look at us go. I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. What do we get? So this is a grilled calamari with a really beautiful sauce on it and arugula. And then this is ricotta with grilled eggplant um, and garlic and some sort of sauce. I'm very excited for both of these starters. Sweet! Start. Ooh. Okay. It's animal flavored up in here, y'all. Like, look at that. I don't think I've ever eaten an actual squid bar. Like, that looks like this. Um. The sauce is like a garlic tahini and it's so, so good. Okay, so this is the uh, excellent in ricotta on sourdough bread. Ready? Ow. This is like a tomato-y garlic also. I'm very pleased with both of these. Some zucchini, cucumbers, right up in here. Yeah. So it's very excited. Little chili taste. I got duck. It reminds me kind of like tilapia, but mildly fishy. It's got a buttery flavor to it. It's really light. It's pretty good. Chili potatoes. It's got a little hint of lemon in it, so it makes it a little bit citrusy. All right, your turn. I got done. With some risotto, basically a pasta. Thanks. It's fantastic. <laughs> Roasted, got a little to it. Very, it's a good balance of flavor. That was so good. But that was just the best, the best meal to end our stint in Bollywood. Thank you. The best meal with the best lady. Oh. We're gonna get dessert, but we're gonna let our all of that food settle for a little bit because we need to. <laughs> I can't eat anywhere right now. We got dessert. <laughs> now the big question is, is, is this a fruit roll up? Oh, it feels like a fruit roll up. It's a fancy fruit roll up. Fancy fruit roll up. All right, so this is strawberries and cream. Cream for Yeah, yeah. whatever that is. It's not, yeah, it's And basil. <laughs> I'll go back to the fruit roll up in a second. This is a great choice. It's light, and the fruit gives it a little pop. Excellent choice. Get some of the gelato over here. Ooh wee. I think I need to stop recording so I can get some before you eat it all. No, you can give it one. 
<laughs> I would like to have said that was a sometime later, but that was literally like... 30 seconds. <laughs> at most later. Maybe even 15. We killed that thing. Like, inhaled it. It was unbelievably good. So happy we did this. Ready to go home? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Say that. You got your luggage in my way. I'm a little sad it's our last night. I'm ready I, for more adventures. I'm ready to see new things, but we did get like a solid routine in the last five days. Yeah, we got, uh, well, Bali's been interesting leg of this trip just because of a lot of different things happening, a lot of busy things happening, uh, change of routines. I feel know. like we got a groove back. Yeah, but getting sick twice, like, has been rough. So heat exhaustion is a real thing. Uh, and a big learning experience, but I'm glad that I'm feeling somewhat normal. I think she's feeling somewhat normal. Yeah, so tomorrow we're traveling to our seventh country together. Yeah, that's wild. March, he had never been out of the country. And you're about to go to your seventh country. In one year. If you want to know where we're going sooner than this video is going to come out, be sure to go to our Instagram, Jamie and Micah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put it down below because the last time I tried to spell it, I spelled it wrong. Oh yeah. So be sure to like our page. You know, you get updates faster than you would hear. We're gonna go on an airplane tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Pick up tomorrow. Yeah. Travel day. Travel day. We're going to the airport. We did not film in the hotel room, so here we are in the car, ready to rock and roll. We're super early to the airport today. We have lounge access. Yeah, lounge access. Even though we had a big breakfast, I'm sure we'll be hungry again, but it'll all be free. Also, we just, it takes um, about an hour to an hour and a half to get to the airport from Chengdu, so we just wanted to give ourselves enough time. But we will be there about 5.30, so it's about 11 now. Oh no, it's 8.30. Oh, so we Our have- Our flight leaves at 5.30. It's gonna be a long travel day, but yeah. hopefully pretty simple because it's a direct flight. So we don't have to switch airports or switch planes. ER. It should be a pretty easy day. leaving the Bali airport. You're not gonna have 50 people asking you if you need a taxi. Time to start our uh, airport processing adventure, my favorite. <laughs> See you on the other side. So we are here too early to check in. <laughs> like two hours too early to check in. Try to be traveling. Yeah, we could have waited at our room until noon and then that would have gotten us here closer to two and we can't check in until 2.30, yep. so. So we got two hours of waiting and then we get free lounge access. So that'll hopefully make it more worth it. So there is no such thing as visa on arrival. So whatever website I read that on as of May 2022, it is not true. Also, we've been here for two extra hours and we tried to check in five hours early and no one asked us if we had a visa when we got here. So we could have possibly like applied then and been able to get on this flight. Basically right now it's a Hail Mary um, if we get on the flight. If not, they're gonna rebook us for tomorrow. It should be a pretty easy day. Yeah. Hopefully pretty simple. Yeah. Hopefully pretty simple. Yeah. Hopefully pretty simple. Yeah. And I guess we're staying in Bali one more night. All right, so we had uh, a lot of snafus. I think is a way to put it. Our first major snafu while traveling. So what ended up happening was we researched for visa in Vietnam. Jamie did a lot of research. She's very thorough about this stuff. There's a lot of skepticism with like all of the different visas you can apply for online. So we There's did- There's a lot of companies online and half of them are scams. Right, so we ended up, we assumed that you could get a visa on arrival similar to Bali. Uh, that is not true. In fact, uh, visas do take a minimum of three business days, even sometimes more than that, to process. So for our situation, our, our visa here ends uh, in a few days, and then processing for visas in Vietnam, they start their holiday at like the day after tomorrow. On so September 1st. We are basically cornered into paying a, an accelerated visa. $300 right. for an eight hour visa. To you change our flight, it was another $86. And so our grand total right now 
is $496. Luckily I have Hilton points and we got a double twin bedroom for 5,000 points. All the other rooms were 35,000 points. So we're just gonna go to this hotel room and, and get some food and call it a day. Walk into the hotel. We'll get there. We'll get there. 14 minute walk. <laughs> Feels like we're uh, walking on the middle of a raceway. Getting stopped about every five seconds for a taxi. Taxis are relentless here, especially the ones at the airport are the worst. We're almost there. We're also just gonna call it a day and eat at the hotel. I don't know how inexpensive or expensive it's gonna be. There's not much We're else gonna, happening. Yeah, food and pool. Yeah, this we need is to it. relax. So we'll we'll see on the next one. Yeah, we should make it to Vietnam tomorrow. Crush fingies. Okay, love you bye.